tests for sulphide. Sulphides are inorganic compounds of sulphur containing sulphide ions. Sulphide ions form a variety of compounds. One famous example is the bright yellow cadmium sulphide or cadmium yellow. The black tarnish on sterling silver is also due to the formation of silver sulphide. Our aim here is to test for the presence of the sulphide ion in a given salt. Let's see the preliminary tests of sulphide. The preliminary tests are physical examination of the salt, dry heating test, dilute sulfuric acid test. Physical examination of the salt. The physical examination of sulphide salt involves the study of smell. Materials required A small quantity of the salt in a watch glass, distilled water and glass rod. Procedure Take a pinch of the salt in a watch glass. To this, add a few drops of distilled water. Now, take the glass rod and rub the salt with it and smell it. A rotten egg smell indicates the presence of sulphide. Dry heating test Materials required Original salt Test tube Lead acetate paper Test tube holder and a Bunsen burner Procedure Take a small quantity of the salt in a test tube and heat it over the Bunsen burner. On heating, hydrated sulphide undergoes decomposition to evolve colourless hydrogen sulphide gas which smells like rotten eggs. Place a lead acetate paper over the mouth of the test tube. Hydrogen sulphide reacts with the lead acetate to form lead sulphide which turns the lead acetate paper black. Dilute sulphuric acid test Materials required Original salt Dilute sulphuric acid Lead acetate paper Test tube and a dropper Procedure Take a small quantity of salt in a test tube. To this, add a small volume of dilute sulphuric acid using a dropper. Sulphide reacts with dilute sulphuric acid to evolve colourless hydrogen sulphide gas which smells like rotten eggs. Bring a lead acetate paper over the mouth of the test tube. Hydrogen sulphide reacts with lead acetate to form lead sulphide which turns the lead acetate paper black. Next, we look at the confirmatory tests of sulphide. The confirmatory tests are Sodium nitroprusside test Lead acetate test Cadmium carbonate test Sodium nitroprusside test Materials required Aqueous solution of the salt Sodium nitroprusside solution Test tube and a dropper Procedure Take a small portion of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube to this, add a few drops of sodium nitroprusside solution using a dropper. Sulphide reacts with sodium nitroprusside to form a purple colored iron complex. Lead acetate test Materials required Aqueous solution of the salt Lead acetate solution Test tube and a dropper Procedure Take a small portion of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube. To this, add a small amount of lead acetate solution using a dropper. Sulphide reacts with lead acetate to form a black precipitate of lead sulphide. Cadmium carbonate test Materials required Aqueous solution of the salt Suspension of cadmium carbonate in water Test tube and a dropper Procedure Take a small portion of aqueous solution of the salt in the test tube. To this, add a small amount of cadmium carbonate suspension using the dropper. Sulphide reacts with suspension of cadmium carbonate to form a yellow precipitate of cadmium sulphide. Precautions Handle the apparatus and chemicals carefully. 
Use droppers to take the reagents from the bottles. Wear a lab coat and gloves while performing the experiment.